Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on GMAP TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time for regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, the story that we have, the issue that we have now is that of the happenings at Chikurubi Maximum Prison where Nelson Chamisa, the advocate, he had gone to see Job Sikala, Mr. Sitole, and the other 13 Nyatsime victims who are currently in prison over charges of insulting political violence and a whole lot of other trumped up charges. So, the Citizens Coalition for Change, through their spokespersons, both Fadzai Mahere and Gift Ostalosis, has shared that President Nelson Chamisa and his team were barred from accessing Job Sikala and Mr. Sitole. This is quite surprising, guys. In any personally, I'm beginning to wonder to where does these orders really come from? How can you stop someone from seeing someone without basis, without a basis? I don't know, shy, but where do these orders really, really come from? Because you want to, to portray and image as if you say Nelson Chamisa is a non entity that was that that's what you tell everything everyone i mean Koti, we are not worried about him we are not worried about the the, the 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 guy let him do whatever he deems he deems necessary but on the other end you stop him you stop him from his rallies you stop him from doing the country white toes you stop him even from seeing someone who is in jail i i, I mean who gives such orders? Aren't you just giving Nelson Chamisa some relevance? If you come come to think of it, Nelson Chamisa was quite a week or two. He has been very silent. Even on Twitter, he has been very, he hasn't been very very active. He has been silent. But now he is trending just because they said no. He must not access Job Sikala and the other political prisoners. Why? Who does that? What, what what this just portrays and tells everyone is that they are really worried, if not scared, about Nelson Chamisa, even though they want to portray a certain image as if they deem him as a nanny entity. So, Gift of Stolar Sezio shared a saying, In Chikrubi, President Nelson Chamisa has been denied access to see Honorable Stole, Honorable Sikala, and 12 other activists who are in the maximum security facility. The state argues that President Chamisa as a high-profile political leader must be cleared by the Commissioner General. So I just want you to, 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 to also to share with me, could you, is it true? Probably there are lawyers there that are watching this video. Just share your thoughts. Is it true that if a political leader, if a high-profile political leader visits someone, they should at least be first cleared by the Commissioner General? What harm does it have for Nelson Chamisha to see Job Sikala, Honorable Sitoli, and the other 12 guys? And also, uh, Fadzai Mahere also said and characterized it as political persecution, what just happened which could be. Father Mayer said, in the latest act of political persecution and selective application of the law, our change champion in chief, Nelson Chamisa, was prohibited from visiting Honorable Zikala, Honorable Gift Stole, and members of the Nyatsime 15 held at Shikorubi. No reasons were given for the refusal. So, this is what the international community is seeing. This is what all the other organizations, the OAUs, the, 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 the SADC, the everything is seeing, the UN, the UN, everyone is seeing that Nelson Chamisa is being denied access to prisoners. Tell me guys, who denies people access to prisoners? They are prisoners. For God's sake, everyone must just visit uh, uh, prisoners. But I don't know, maybe it's a political strategy of saying no. Or maybe they fear that I'm gonna go for it. Now we were not job sikala and I just don't know what, where is the logic, where is the motive behind denying him access, even to allow this issue to trend as it's trending now. Who gives such orders? 
probably definitely it's not the president but he meant for kufadza the president but usually this is a own go my own goes my watch just leave the guy just leave him visit whoever he wants and then people so also the official page for the ccc the citizen coalition for change is shared the same news they say that the regime in Harare has part our change champion in chief, President Chamisa, from visiting our MPs Job Sikala, Godfrey Sitole, and 13 other members at Chikrubi Maximum Prison. They are being persecuted for demanding justice for mobilizing Ali. So that's the story. Wangwaruti, he was denied just because he is a high politi high profile political leader, and as such, he must be cleared by the commissioner. General, I really, really, really don't know how that works. But probably, please, you may share in the comment box in the comment box below that whether or not this is what actually happened. But what I think is some of these are just on goals. Is if to say, yes, we are really persecuting them. So what? So this is what we give just for now. And I want you to please, please share your thoughts. Regarding this matter, I know Konika Nefaro, Dinwenu, Honorable Madiba.